Welcome to Tube Bricks Per Channel. Today I am going to show you how to take running sum for your access database. For this purpose, I have created a sample table. So I have named my table as TBL Trans. You can see this is my sample table. I use this table to calculate running sum. So my table contains four columns. So I'll show them in design view. ID, date, debit and credit are my columns. So and also I have named this table as TBL trans. Then uh, there are two columns called debit and credit. So their data type is number you can see and I have assigned a default value for these columns the default value for these columns or for these both columns is zero so you have to give a default value uh, when designing the table so this is the table is structure so based on this table is structure I am going to build a query To build the query, create, click on the create, click on the query design. So once you click on the query design, you have to take select your table. So I selected my table and I add following columns to my query ID, date, debit column and credit column. debit column and credit column now I am going to calculate running sum using SQL statement to get the SQL view I right click this space and select SQL view right click and select SQL view now this is the SQL window then here I am going to type following SQL statement. Select. Then uh, I have assigned a name for my TBL trans. The assigned name is BTBL or BTBL trans is the assigned name for my table. So BTB select BTBL trans dot ID comma again BTBL trans dot date comma then BTBL trans dot debit comma then btbl dot credit so after that I after that I have to open brackets like brackets like this select sum debit minus credit then I close the initial commas initial brackets then from TBL trans, this is my table name, 
GBL class where again TBL trans dot date is less than equal to TBTBL trans date TBL trans dot date then close the comma close the bracket as what as balance so this is the column I used to get the running sum then again from statement from TBL trans as btbl trans order by btbl trans date so i uh, i so i wrote a SQL statement like this then the next statement then the next step is to save the query so this is the running balance they are yes this is the running balance according to our SQL statement so uh, now I'm going to save the query as running balance. Now this is the original table. Now I'll enter a date 26th. Then the credit amount is just a 2000. Refresh the table. Refresh the query now. Now this is the running balance. So I'll enter the transaction to twenty seventh. Credit amount is five thousand five hundred. Yes, then you see. So this is the. This is how you can get the running balance for your access database. So I did this based on SQL statement. So at the end of the video, uh, or at the end of the description, I will I will uh, upload a link to download my sample access database file. So you can download, your, download my sample uh, database file and practice. If you have any clarification, please put a comment under comment section then don't forget to subscribe my channel so i will expect to do or i will expect to present more videos regarding a microsoft access and uh, again i want to remind you don't forget to re uh, subscribe my channel then thank you